No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Limelight, makers of professional lighting for independent filmmakers. My Road Reel International Film Contest. Enter at myroadreel.com. Hey guys, my name is Connor with the company FNV, and I'm here to show you our new EVF. This is called the Spectra HD4. It's a 4.3 inch 1280 by 720 um, pixel display. Some of the key features of this are both in the hardware as well as in the software. I'll show you the back side of it to show you what inputs can come into this guy. So we have an HDMI in with a loop throughout. We also have an SDI in with a loop throughout. And it can also go S HDMI in, convert to SDI out. Now SDI can handle 3G, HD, and SD. Um, additionally, on the back, you have a mini XLR. Um, this would help feed for the tally light. So this is actually uh, a tally light that will illuminate. Um, we have a DC jack, headphone jack, a mini USB port. So this will allow you to um, update the software over time, so for firmware updates. And, and additionally, you can power this uh, via a Sony NPF uh, lithium ion battery. So, let's look on this side, we have a stainless steel area rosette. On the bottom, we have a quarter 20 threaded. Housing's made of al aluminum. Uh, on the inside, that's kind of where it really shines. We have uh, all the, the nitty gritty to make this a powerful piece of gear. Um, we have vector scope, um, vector scope, false color, uh, histogram, uh, frame guides, um, and much, much more. So uh, it's jam even though it's small in size, it's jam packed with all the professional features uh, to help you get your job done. And lastly, it will have an optical loop. Um, it ha will have a focusable diopter, and it will allow for full screen viewing of the um, of the display. Um, Pricing is going to be tentatively $1,100 for the, the EVF by itself, and then $1,400 for the, uh, the kit, so the EVF and the loop. Availability for the Spectra HD4 will be roughly, um, we anticipate, the summer and fall. I'm here to show you our new Medica FM 7-inch monitor. Um, so the Medica FM it has a 1024 by 600 pixel display. It has a 170 degree viewing angle and as well as a 8-bit color depth. The Medica FM7 is housed in all aluminum housing. Uh, it has quarter 20 uh, tap-ins on every side. On the back side it has an HDMI in with a loop throughout as well as an SDI in with a loop throughout. Uh, as compared to our Spectra HD, it cannot do HDMI in to loop through or convert to SDI out. Um, on the inside, it has uh, some great features to help you get your job done when you're on set, which include frame guides and focus peaking. Uh, down the road, there will be an optional uh, software upgrade or a hardware upgrade, actually, that will expand its functionality to include false color, um, histogram, and a few others. So we will have the K4, K8000 Plus as well as the Z1200. Uh, the K8000 Plus is a 90 CRI. 800 diode 2x1 panel. So on the back side it has a built-in V-mount battery plate which can be swapped out for an Anton Bauer gold mount plate. Um, a couple of DTAP ins as well as the possibility to expand to our DMX512 module which will allow it to go up to 999 unique channels. The unit will come in both a daylight and a bicolor version. Um, Next, we have the Z1200. This takes, uh, this utilizes our new ultracolor LEDs, which are CRI of 95. The Z1200 is a 1200 LED 2x1 panel, um, and as well as with the K8000 Plus, it will come in both a daylight and a bicolor model. I'm here to show you our revamped Z180 and Z96 ultracolor units. Now, with uh, as with some of our studio panels. We are now introducing the ultracolor LED, which is a CRI of 95. And what that allows for is uh, richer color reproduction and more accurate color reproduction, um, as well as it can help with consistency uh, across multiple camera sensors. The first light I will show you is our Z180 ultracolor. It will be available in both a daylight and a bicolor version. Uh, the really unique thing about this guy is that you can link multiple units together. So you could link up to 36, but here actually we have four linked together. And uh, 
basically the first one that you turn on becomes the master and then every subsequent one become will, will follow their lead so basically when I dim the first one all of the other lights will dim in unison as well as uh, when I change its color temperature all the color temperature uh, the LEDs and the color temperature the others will match um, additionally um, it's really easy to link together so just easily snaps in via its dovetail joint um, and you can position these any which way um, so also the LEDs feature magnetic filters so they just snap onto place and you can actually stack them as well On the back side, you have a Sony MPF battery plate, a DC jack, and AA batteries. Now each unit does have to be powered uh, independently. Uh, the power cannot transfer through the SmartSync uh, technology, which is the technology used uh, for all the units to talk to each other. This unit, as compared to the Z180, uh, it has as many LEDs as is in the name. So this is a Z96, it has 96 LEDs. The Z180 has 180 LEDs. Um, again, they have magnetic filters that you can snap into place. And on the back side, you have AA batteries, a Sony MPF battery uh, slot, and a DC jack. So these are our two new revamped uh, LEDs that have been fan favorites and now uh, we're just updating them as our technology improves. And to learn more about these products, they are available for sale. Um, check out our website, fblight.com.